Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs. Mossy frogs are a particular genus of frog that have long caught the fascination and imagination of hobbyists worldwide. With their fascinating texture on Theloderma, the genus name literally translates into bumpy skin, and amazingly cryptic colors, it's no wonder why mossy frogs make fascinating captives. Theloderma live in Southeast Asia, where they inhabit a wide range of habitats. There are about 22 species of mossy frogs, also known as warty frogs or bug-eyed frogs, but we'll focus on the three species we currently work with at Josh's Frogs, Theloderma cortical, Asperum, and Theloderma stellatum. Theloderma cortical is the most popular mossy frog and simply known as the Vietnamese mossy frog in the pet trade. Large and colorful, adults can be about four inches long and are bright green and red. This bright coloration has allowed them to blend right into the moss in their native habitat. From the mountain ranges in northern Vietnam, these frogs have made a huge splash in the hobby. There seems to be evidence of cooler tadpole temperatures producing more females, which can sometimes be hard to come across. These frogs appreciate temperatures in the high 60s or low 70s. Theloderma asperum, the Vietnamese bird poop frog, is a tropical lowland forest frog that does very well in captivity. A ready breeder, the pied warty frog is simple to keep and breed. Adults are a bit smaller than other mossy frogs. Make sure you keep your bird poop frogs in the low to mid 70s. Theloderma stellatum, the Tonkin bug-eyed frog, is quite rare in captivity. In fact, Josh's Frogs has been able to find anyone outside of zoos in the USA breeding this species, besides yourselves. A medium-sized Theloderma. The bug-eyed frogs are easy to care for, but do seem to show the proposed temperature sex determination as their larger cousins. These frogs appreciate cooler temperatures as well. Housing mossy frogs is simple. These frogs are semi-aquatic and require a large water bowl or full water bottom. We house them in exoterra glass terraria, with cork tubes and flats providing perching and laying surfaces. Artificial plants can be provided. I've kept mossy frogs with live plants with success, but keep in mind that they can easily be trampled by the larger frogs. For feeding, feed supplement dusted crickets in a floating food bowl, similar to how we feed our reed frogs. Mossy frogs utilize tree holes and like to breed in the wild. As such, frogs and tadpoles actually seem to thrive in tannin-rich water that's high in organics. In short, keeping their water too clean can actually be harmful. This isn't an excuse to let them get filthy though. We change out about half the water every week and remove visible waste and uneaten prey at this time. Provide Indian almond leaves in the water seems to help keep the conditions proper for optimal frog growth and development. When they do breed, eggs will be laid on a piece of cork above the water's surface. As they hatch, the tadpoles will fall under the water below. We've had the best luck leaving the tadpoles in the tank with the parents for two to four weeks after they hatch before removing them, then feeding them squished crickets and food high in animal proteins. It's likely that they feed on drowned insects and larvae in the wild. After all four legs develop, the young mossy frogs are moved into smaller containers with an 8 ounce water dish and paper towel. This setup allows us to easily monitor growth and eating while the frogs grow. At the time of sale, mossy frogs from Josh's frogs are eating quarter inch crickets and ready for their permanent homes. So, not convinced yet? Then hop on over to joshesfrogs.com and see for yourself. We offer a wide variety of healthy captive bred frogs produced right here for you, as well as all of the dry goods and feeder insects you need to take care of your new pets.